In this video, we're going to look at using an area model to factor um, when our original polynomial is missing some terms. And I say missing some terms. When you write a polynomial in standard form, you start with the exponent with the highest degree, which in this case is 4. You'll notice that this polynomial doesn't have a term of degree 3 or a term of degree 1. However, when we set up our area model, we still have to consider that those terms might appear somewhere in our model. I know that what I am setting up here is one factor that is just two terms and is just of degree one, which means that the other factor must be degree three. So that means there's going to be four terms. And what we're going to consider here is that in this original polynomial, the x cubed term was zero. So we're going to say maybe it was there. If it was there, it would have been zero. Same with the x term. And as we go through this, you'll see why that's important. So we start always by putting our first term in our first box. We know that we multiply x cubed by x to get x to the fourth power. And that means that when we multiply x cubed by 2, we would get 2x cubed. This is why it was important that we put 0x cubed here. So now we know that this term must be negative 2x cubed, since these two terms have to add up to what's right here, and what's right here is 0. So we put that here so we don't start looking over here at the 13 too early. We're still looking here at the x cubed. We want to make sure we don't skip any terms. Um, x times negative 2x squared is what gives us negative 2x cubed. Continuing our process, we would multiply here, get negative 4x squared. Now we need to add up to this negative 13x squared term. Negative 4 and negative 9 is what makes negative 13. To get negative 9x squared in this box, this must have been negative 9x. Multiplying negative 9x by negative 2 gives us negative 18x. Again here, this x term is 0. So if this was negative 18x, this must have been positive 18x, um, leaving us with an 18 up here, and 18 times 2 is 36. So we've started the factoring process for this polynomial. It's fourth degree, so it's going to have a lot of factors. But for now, we know that we can factor it into x cubed minus 2x squared minus 9x plus 18 times x plus 2. We would then need to determine if we could factor this cubic polynomial, and we'll learn how to pick out some possible um, factors later on this week.